Hi everyone, hello and happy Monday Dollar Tree haul. I'm here, we are back. I am excited to be here with you guys. Happy, happy Valentine's Day everyone. I hope everybody has had a great weekend since I saw you last in happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. And now we are about to haul, so let's get into it. I found these lanterns right here and these have come out the last couple of years and I have bought them before, but where I'm doing my room over in a gardening outdoor theme, I definitely wanted to pick up a few more to have on hand. I absolutely love, love, love the colors that they came out with these and they remind me of the ocean and the beach and just they're just absolutely adorable even the miniature version they do come with those two little loops at the top so I'm probably going to make them into a garland honestly I picked up six of these to alternate the color and I'm gonna use some of the rope that the Dollar Tree has to offer and make myself a garland behind the bed it does come with these two little electric not electric <laughs> these little battery operated candles inside so the bottom has switches the on and off and once we put the batteries in there we'll just light them right up so make sure that they do have a tab when you pick them up because when you pull the tab these will turn on if the on switch works and the tab hasn't already made it so that the battery has worn out so just make sure that you check that right away when you get home to make sure the, the lights work so i picked them up two of these two colors and then i also grabbed one of the white one so this one is kind of like a little bit of an off white and the little candle fell out of the bottom, but I know where it is, so I have to put it back in there. And I just thought they were so adorable, and I can't wait to make a garland out of them for my room. Then I picked up more of these, and again, these have been out at least the last two years. I've seen them, and I love these so much. These are a wall shelf, and I picked up a few more to sprinkle around my space so that I can put little succulent plants on them, and I can put little pictures on these little shelves that hang right there. Like, you'll just have to put something into the wall to make it so that it's hooked on and dangling down. So it comes with a little loop, a little bit of rope, and this size shelf is a really, really decent surface to put your things on. So I love this so much. This is a 13.375 inch by 5.2 uh, inches. And once you set it up, you can put whatever you'd like on it. You can also stain it, paint it, whatever color is best for you. So I grabbed that one. And then I also grabbed this one and I grabbed three of these particular ones because I really, really liked the color of the wood on this particular shelf. And this one is a longer, more rectangle shape. This is a 15.7 inch by 3.5 inch in case you need to know that. Again, it comes with the little loop and the rope. Just make sure that your shelf has that and everything is intact. And then you will set it up and look at how cute that little setup is right there with the little clock and the flower. I think that that's just adorable. So I did pick up three of those. Slowly but surely, my room is coming together. We're just, you know, I, I Dollar Tree haul, so I have all of my things in here organized for you guys and I just want to kind of like get the space together a little bit more and then once I do I'll probably do a little video to show you guys how it came out and pulled all together. This is a smaller wall shelf uh, right there and this is a more of a square shape but it does the same exact you know thing with the little hook the little loop hook and the rope inside of it. This is a 6.7 inch, excuse me, I'm about to cough, um, 6.7 inch by 5.2 inch. And there's two loops and some rope right there. So actually, I believe that there's two shelves in here. Yes, there is. This is a two pack. And I think I just actually, actually realized that. So I picked up two of these, but now I have four. But that's okay because I have a lot of the little succulent plants that I've hauled from the Dollar Tree to sprinkle around with these. 
and I think it's gonna look just adorable so I picked that one up as well then to continue on with like the gardening um, section where I picked all of these things up at my Dollar Tree I did finally find one of these plastic watering stakes and they had all a bunch of different colors but I did pick up the pink one <coughs> excuse me and I just wanted to see how one worked before I bought a bunch for all of my plants and I do really like that bubblegum pink color so you put the water inside and then stick this spout into the soil and then slowly but surely it will come out of the tube and continue keeping the plant nice and moist for it to grow so I thought that that was really nifty they did have a blue one I believe and also another color but I do remember the blue one outside of just the pink one so I picked that up then I grabbed some new ribbon and I just picked up this plain green looking ribbon because I just want it to cover the surface of the wire wreath form and then I embellish around it anyways so that you can't even see the ribbon so I just picked up this green one it's nine feet long it's from the floral garden section but it is a really pretty green in case you did want that green to show up I grabbed two of them so I did that because I found these egg shaped wire wreath forms and I thought that they were so so cool and they're nice and big that is going to make a really cute easter egg wreath for the front door and this says it is a 15.3 inch wreath form and I love it I love it so much so I actually want to get into some easter crafts I know that we have a little bit of a ways to go but I'm already ready like to just start getting some pastels and some you know pretty pastel floral stems from the Dollar Tree and then making some Easter wreaths. I also found these printed felt bunny paws and how cute are these? There's 10 pieces in here and when my son was little I used to buy something just like this but with with um, like a sticker to the back of it so that it you stuck and then you could peel it off but I used to put bunny prints all throughout the house so that when he woke up in the morning he could see that Peter Cottontail had come to his house and left his Easter basket and I used to make him follow the feet through the house to find his Easter basket so these I haven't seen before myself personally but they brought back like a happy moment for me and I might do it this year again through my house even though these are just felt I'll probably put them out on Easter morning and lead them to his basket so I thought that that was cute and Isaiah is so good to his mama he knows that I still love him like he's my baby boy so he lets me just be you know mom and do my thing and he just thinks you know my mom is traditional and he enjoys it still even though he's older now I've been crafting quite a bit and my friend Lene from Fashionably 50 something and beyond she likes to you know embellish just cardstock and things like that and she does really really cute cards and I've pulled my stuff together over the weekend to try to um, make little tiny vision cards of my own life with my stickers and embellishments that I have on hand in my craft area and I had so much fun doing it. I did share a clip of them in a vlog that I posted yesterday over on my Crazy Callan Vlogs channel. So if you guys want to check that out, you know, I just posted it yesterday to share my whole weekend with you guys and how it lined up. Um, but I went out and I grabbed some more stickers um, for the crafter square section and this is the zigzag jewel border but these are sticky and I thought that these were so so pretty to border some of the cardstock that I have in packages that came from the Dollar Tree there's like a really big pack in the crafter square section of all these scrap cardstock paper and that is what I worked on for the weekend while I was crafting and I thought how pretty are these to border around those cards and then to make my little my little intention cards for myself 
So then I also picked these up and these are the Crafter Square Jewels as well. And this is Gem Border Stickers and these are the colors of the rainbow and I just loved how many there were in this auction. So I picked this up to have on hand so that I can continue to bling out my little cards as well. And let's see, I thought I had another sticker set, but maybe I, no, oh, no, I did. So I picked these up also because they have the bigger jewels in these packages. There's a hundred pieces in there, again from the Crafters Square brand, and these are gemstones. And look at all of the colors. They're just, what pretty stickers. They're just so beautiful, so shiny and shimmery. And they really dressed up the cards really well. So I wanted to grab some more to bling them out as I'm doing them. And it's just like doing a vision board, but on mini card stock so that I can flip, flip through them when I'm just having time for myself and thinking about the things that I want in my life and, you know, just putting them on cards so that I can move toward that goal in my life and decorate them in a really fun way. It's just been a blast all weekend doing it in my free time. Then these Crafter Square stick, uh, stickers, there's nine pieces and these are dragonflies and how beautiful are all of the pastel colors in them. Plus, they're puffy. They're puffy stickers. So I am really, really loving the detail in all of these dragonflies and the colors throughout them. And then these little butterflies. I think that's a flower, though. Yeah, that's a flower. Oh, that's a flower as well. So that package right there is absolutely visually pleasing to me, and I love it. I picked up this package of googly eyes. There's 125 pieces in there and they have bigger eyeball options. So that's why I grabbed this package of googly eyes because I want to decorate the Easter bunny head on the, uh, the wood crafting board that is a cutout of the Easter Bunny head that I picked up from the Dollar Tree a couple of weeks ago and hauled for you guys. And I wanted to give him some big eyes while I'm embellishing him. So I grabbed these and these are always good to have on hand, especially when I make my little stocking characters that I like to create a lot through the holidays. So that's a good option for 125 of the googly eyes. And then I've picked this up, and this is the panoramic puzzle. I've never seen this before, and this is um, Province Lavender, and there is 101 pieces. So this is totally new, and if you guys have been watching me for a while, you know that my husband loves to do puzzles for me and frame them for me. I don't know how we're going to frame this quite yet, but will you look at that beautiful field of lavender right there and the beautiful sun? Oh, it, it's just stunning in the sky. And this is usually what I'm out chasing throughout the day to take photographs of and just, just the sky and the fields and the beauty of nature. So I grabbed this one, but they did have many, many options of the panoramic puzzles. So those are definitely new to the store and I was completely obsessed with them. Now I went over to the stationery section and I wanted to grab a couple of things from there that I hadn't seen offered before. And this is from the Jot brand and this is the magnetic hooks. There's two in here and they're really heavy because they are a magnet. I am going to put these on the fridge and so when the boys get home at the end of the day, each one will have a hook right on the refrigerator, right by their coffee station to hang up their keys so that they know exactly where they are for the next day when they need to leave for work. And they're not trying to like figure out which pant pocket they left them in or which surface they set them on because that seems to be a really big problem 
with the two of them. So I'm hoping that these hooks will work for them and that they'll gravitate toward putting their keys right on here on their little lanyards. So that's the intention for these. And I love that there was two in that package. I did also pick these up. These are the adhesive label holders. There's 18 pieces in there. And I thought that these were great because they come with the little the little strips right there that you can label and write down exactly you know what you want on each tab and then they come with the little slips that you can slip them into and I believe that they're sticky so that you can put them right onto the um, to the dividers so that you can separate all of your tabs so I thought that that was really fantastic and I have a ton of notebooks for a ton of different reasons. So I wanted to stick this in some of them so that I can separate all of my subjects that I need to concentrate on. Also, this is a write on removable index tabs. There's 12 pieces. Um, so this as well is really, really nice to have. It's a bigger surface and these little flags right here will jut out and you will know exactly where you need to go in the, you know, in the, the booklet. I'm going to probably use these for like my documents that I have to keep track of, of all of our like birth certificates and car titles and things like that, just so that I know exactly which section to flip to to get those important documents out when we need them. So I really like that and I'm gonna, you know, I try at least once a year to try to get all of my paperwork together, shred old stuff that I don't need anymore and don't need to carry with me in my files and everything. So that's kind of like the next step that's happening in my organization in the house. And then, let's see, where do we go now? I have so many things and I'm so happy to show them all to you, but I want to really get the best stuff to you guys now. And then the rest will will do for Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul once I hit the Dollar Tree tomorrow morning and get some more things that I need. Now, I picked up some of this stuff because St. Patrick's Day is coming up. And I always celebrate it because I have a lot of Irish in me and I love this little set right here and I can definitely embellish some decorations with this when I'm crafting. I love all of the little gnomes on it and they're so so cute dressed up for St. Patty's Day. I love the rainbow and I love that it says Happy St. Patrick's Day in the cloud. And it says, kiss me, I'm Irish. I have shirts that say that and everything. And this shamrock over here says, good luck. I still at this point in my life have still been looking for a four leaf clover. And I've never been able to find it. I spent a lot of time in my childhood laying in the grass and stargazing and watching the clouds change shape and, you know, guessing what they look like and rummaging around in the fields of grass and never once have come across a four leaf clover. Let me know down in the comments below if you've ever seen one yourself personally. Um, I think that's so cool if you have. Then I found this uh, window cling right here and I love this one. I love, love, love the Irish dancer right there. It says, kiss me, I'm Irish again. Follow your own rainbow. That pertains to me for sure. And I love all the little leprechauns on this page as well. And it says on this one, it says feeling lucky. So all of these words and things, I will probably make some collages in some frames with these window clings as I normally do. I love this one also. Um, this has all of my favorite little woodland creatures on it all decorated and decked out for St. Patty's Day. <laughs> Even the little raccoon has a little orange beard and mustache. So, so cute. The bear with the little hat. And um, I just thought that this was a really cute set as well. And then this one is so, so adorable. Such a cute little set of stickers while uh, will window clings. 
I love all of them with the funny, cute little character faces on it. And Lucky. Lucky you, it says. So cute. So I absolutely think that one is just as cute. And those are going to be so much fun to embellish with. And then this right here is a woman's low cut sock. It's size five to nine. And these are those fuzzy socks. And you know, I love fuzzy socks. So I picked these up with the rainbow and the pot of gold at the bottom so that I can wear these as I'm stomping around my house in my fuzzies. I also picked up these coins and these are really good to craft with, but I usually always set out coins sprinkled through the house as well for my son so that on St. Patrick's Day, he would run around and kind of like an Easter egg hunt. He would hunt for all the coins that the leprechaun, you know, came to the house and sprinkled around on St. Patrick's Day morning. And he used to just have fun collecting them and counting them and getting excited that he brought him coins every year. So I thought that these are really great to have on hand because of making some Irish wreaths for St. Patrick's Day as well. So there is that. Now let's get into a little bit of food over here. I did buy some more of the um, muffin mix because I made all of my muffin mix this past weekend. And this is the Betty Crocker brand. This is the banana nut muffin mix. And I've been using the heart shaped pan that I got from the Dollar Tree and also the one that I got from Walmart from the Valentine's Day section for $3.98. And they have made the cutest brown heart shaped brownies, heart shaped muffins, and we've just had a heart shaped weekend. So I did buy some more of this and these make roughly about eight muffins in that size um, cup of the heart shaped muffin tin. So, and they're really good. They're really good. And all you have to do is add water to this mix and it makes them right up. And then I picked up the chocolate chip muffin mix. And this is not one that I see all that often. I usually see the very berry muffins. I usually find the banana nut and I also find the blueberry, but I've, this is probably maybe the second time that I've been able to pick up the chocolate chip muffins. So my son will be so happy so happy about that one right there. I grabbed those and then my friend Anne, I believe it was my friend Anne that wrote me a comment about this deli market mustard and this is more than yellow mustard it says on it. She said that once her and her husband tried this they don't eat any other mustard. So I finally found it and I because since she mentioned it I've been looking for it and this is a really really good size bottle. Um, it is a 20 ounce bottle of mustard, so I can't wait to try this on a nice sandwich this week and see if I like it just as much because that is a decent size bottle for only one buck or a dollar 25. I'm not going to say that it's decent enough for dollar 25 because, um, unless you really, really love it and you don't care. But mustard's relatively inexpensive other places as well. So, I don't know. You got to make your own call on whether that's a good buy for you for a dollar twenty-five. But again, I'm still at a dollar, and who knows what's going on? Who really knows? Now to get through some of like just household stuff, I did have to replenish and restock from my laundry softener that I use from the Dollar Tree, the Suavidel, and this is the complete on every single one of them. So the complete contains color protection, fewer wrinkles, irresistible and softening freshness, easier stain removal. And this one does 12 loads and this is the Sunshine Bloom. And this makes your clothes smell unbelievable with dryer sheets and those beads, those odor beads that I show you guys from time to time. All three of those things, your laundry smells like a stargazing, beautiful, magical dream. <laughs> and then this one is the complete as well that does all those things, 12 loads. And this one is the floral burst. So there is that. I also got these two right here. 
Again, both of these are 12 loads and have the complete in them with all of those options that I read to you on the first one. And this one is the Soothing Lavender. And then this one is the Waterfall Mist. So I'm telling you, I can vouch for all of these. I've been using them for years and years and years. I cannot tell you, though, to be 100% honest with you, that once I do go to the $1.25 price, that I'm not going to go check the Dollar General. I'm not going to go check... Um, I'm not going to go check like family dollar, things like that to see if I can still purchase those for a dollar before I continue buying them for a dollar 25 at the Dollar Tree. So we're going to have to see about that once that turns over, because if I can get them for a dollar somewhere else continuously, then that's where I'm going to normally pick those up. And then I found my dish liquid. And I know that this is a decent deal because at my grocery store, my dish liquid, the Ajax brand in this same exact size, which is the 14 fluid ounces for the orange one and the 16 fluid ounces for this one right here, which is the vinegar and lemon. This is around $1.30 to $1.50 for these size and these brands. At the other places so for right now and for when it turns a dollar 25 i will continue to pick these things up unless they're on sale somewhere else so this orange one is triple action and so there is that one and then this one says easily dissolves stuck on grease so I picked up both of those and usually when I go I try to pick up all of the colors of the rainbow but they had gotten bombarded this weekend and they had like a rush and everybody must have gone in there buying their household necessities and stuff because when I went yesterday morning cleared out cleared out spaces everywhere not filled so I'm gonna have to go back maybe Wednesday or Thursday and try to really stock up on all of those things that I need in my household I finally found this and watermelon is one of my favorite scents this is the Glade brand which I pick up all of the time and this is the limited edition stay cool watermelon and I've seen so many different people pick this up and I was like, I have to find it because you know how I love my scents, my room sprays, my perfumes, my fancy soaps, <laughs> like all the good smells in the world and summery scents are my favorite. So I finally found it and I'm very excited. But again, once it turns that $1.25 price, I'm going to make sure that I can't purchase this somewhere else for that dollar price. Um, which normally if you buy Glade or any other air fresheners, even at Walmart, they're like 98 cents. So again, once those things start happening, we're going to have to start really thinking about what we're doing with that, that overage and making sure we're getting the best deals that we can for all the stuff that we use in our household consistently. So that's going to be a little bit of an adjustment, but we'll do the best that we can and I will always offer you guys the information as I find it like if I go to you know all of those other stores like Dollar General or Family Dollar and I do find those things still around that price range of one dollar I'll let you guys know during the video so that you don't pick it up at the Dollar Tree and waste even that quarter um now I found some more little books from the kids section at the Dollar Tree and I love these love these for Easter baskets for everything this is the paint with water and paint with water was one of my favorite favorite things to do when I was little I used to love watching the colors show up within the pages coloring with water so I picked this one up right here and then this is what the pages look like inside and once the water hits it with the brush, all of the color starts getting really, really vivid. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful, like, it's just fun. I thought when I was little, like, it was so magical to have, like, water turn into these beautiful, vivid colors. So I picked this up right here. 
I also grabbed this one, which is paint with water as well. This one has the princesses on it, the princess. And then that's one of the pages inside. And how cute would that be to, you know, even frame after it dries and hang it up in a little kid's room. And then I got this one right here that's from for the superheroes theme. And it's a paint with water again. So, and then <laughs> look at that right there. That's so cute. So I grabbed that up. So adorable. Love, love, love those paint with water books. Brings back so many amazing memories. And then I also picked up some books right here. And for Easter, this book, I think, is perfect. And it says, Dear Class. Um, and it has an Easter bunny with a carrot on it. But look at how you open this book. You open it by flipping up the pages. So this is a paperback book and it's got quite a few pages to it. So you flip it up to read it. How awesome is that? That I think is the coolest concept ever. So this is one of the pages inside of it. Definitely look for this book for Easter time. I think that this is going to be so, so, so perfect and an Easter basket. And it's promoting reading, which you know I absolutely love. Promote reading always, always, always. And then I did find these uh, dinosaur books right here. And this is tiny, um, tiny rhinoceros. No, rhino, rhinosaurus. Tiny rhinosaurus. I believe that's how you say it. So these are new books that I have never quite seen before. I've seen dinosaur books, but not these particular ones. And they're a really, really adorable book. So there is this one right here. And they don't say an original price, but they do say that it comes from, from Allberry Books. And, you know, you can probably go on there and find more options on there. This one is Mess Monsters in the Garden. <laughs> so cute. You can put a whole gardening theme to this book. A whole gardening theme. Get seed packets. You know, get some planting pots. Get a pair of gardening gloves. Get some rakes and little... um little shovels and stuff. Put this book in there. Teach a child how to garden. My mom always gardened when, with my son when he was small and he was always out there helping her in the yard. And so I've put stuff like this together from my son before for Easter baskets for sure because that's springtime and you're just starting to plant and they always had fun doing it together. So this is such a great, great book. I think that this is just the cutest. So here is this option right there. I love the books. I can't tell you guys enough. And this one is Bigfootosaurus. <laughs> Bigfootosaurus. So let's see what Bigfootosaurus is up to. He looks like he is getting into a little scuffle with a Yeti. So that one right there. So I found those dinosaur books. I thought I found a fourth one, but maybe I didn't. Nope, I guess I didn't actually. And then last but not least, before we end this Dollar Tree haul for Happy Monday, I did finally find the Trolls brand lip um chapsticks lip balm jumbo lip balm and three finger puppet toppers I've seen so many people haul these so I grabbed a couple because I'm going to gift them for Easter so I picked up this one right here this one says it's mango flavored with these characters in it and those are so cute to play with not even just to put on the chapstick and then I found this one this one was the same with um, Poppy, but then these two characters were different from the other package. And this is the strawberry flavor. So I thought that these are so, so cute and I was happy to grab them up for $1. That is going to be such a cute little addition to a little basket. So 
There you go. Happy Monday Dollar Tree haul. Happy Valentine's Day. I love you guys so incredibly much. I hope that you have a beautiful day filled with love no matter who you're celebrating it with and just enjoy it. Enjoy it and spread kindness and love and gratitude toward whoever you share your time with. And I love you guys. So please, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe, like, share, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are, you know, aware of every single time that I upload a new video. I do Dollar Tree hauls here on this channel on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays. And I would love for you guys to come back and be with me and stay happy, healthy, safe, loved, blessed, kind to one another and amazing. And um, one more thing, make sure that you pay attention to my community tab my community tab especially on Sundays because every Sunday I have put up a different person that is my friend that I've met here on YouTube to share their channel with you guys to let you know that they are around and that you know you should go over there and get to know them and this week I put up Rosie's Fab Finds so you can go look for her on my community tab and if I can remember I will link her channel in my description box on this video so that you can click on it and go right over to her and tell her that I love her and that I sent you. And so, you know, she's just sweet and lovely and she does all kinds of hauls. Um, and I just enjoy her company. So hopefully you will too. And that's it. So I will see you guys on happy Wednesday Dollar Tree haul. I hope you have a fabulous day and love, 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 love every day. Bye guys.